What's happening guys, Mike here from Home Fitness again and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about how to not stray off track on your diet and stuff up. So I'm sure you've been in a position where you're absolutely killing your diet and all of a sudden you just get these changing chemicals in your brain you feel like you're turning into a bit of a psycho and you just would kill for that chocolate bar or something just to eat in the cupboard, just whatever it is. And unfortunately enough it does happen and you stuff up and there goes your calories for the day so don't even include that day. And then comes the next day and you're like, you know what, I stuffed up yesterday so yeah, may as well stuff up today. And then the cycle continues, there goes your results, there goes your motivation, and your cut comes to a close, and the dream goal of yours is no further away than the other side of the country. Now, that's not what we want, all right? I want you to get after the dream body that you deserve. All right, so how are we going to do this? How are we gonna fight those chemicals and stuff in the brain? So, down to four steps. Number one, do not buy what is not on your grocery list. If you make out a diet, and it's got specific foods on it, don't buy what's not on there. It's as simple as that. Now it may get a little harder because you may live with some people or friend or roommate comes over, whatever it is. Whatever that is, just make sure that they put them put that stuff in their room or keep it away from your reach. And I know that you don't spend 24 hours a day in your house and you've always got anywhere else to go, but it's pretty much the place where you're going to be preparing all your food. Now, if you prepare all your food, that's the food that you're going to have for every day and every week. All right, so go to the shop with your list, just get that. I want you to look at dieting as, let's say you're a bit of a psycho. Look at Tim Tams as grenade. You're not going to give grenades to a psycho because they look good there, because that those Tim Tams just look good in the cupboard. Somewhere deep down you're like, you know what, I might have that little treat. No, don't do it, all right? Grenades, psycho, don't do it. That's how you're going to stuff up. Only buy what is on your diet plan, all right? Only buy what is on your diet plan. Only buy what is in your diet plan. Number two, supplements. All right, so as much as I don't advise always going supplements, they can definitely help, okay? They can definitely take the edge off, all right? Since a lot of your dieting uh, and everything should come into just food, you can use these. As you can see in my past logs or videos that I definitely use supplements myself, something like uh, alpha lipoic acid, chromium, which is the one I'm gonna mention, glucocaminin, which is another one I'm gonna mention, uh, Dimer burn, just a fat burner, uh, krill oil, all right? But a few that I wanna mention is chromium. All right, so chromium is gonna help pretty much push glucose out of the system and into muscle bellies, and it's also gonna help metabolize fat, which is really good because it's gonna burn fat while you're in a calorie deficit, and it's not gonna allow that spike and drop right after you have carbs, all right? That drop is gonna get you those cravings where you're gonna scurry through the cupboard and looking for those Tim Tams you shouldn't have bought. Glucocaminin. This is a bulky fiber, all right? So it comes in a powder, or you can even get it in a tablet. I advise getting it in a powder. It is a lot better because otherwise you're gonna swallow a lot of tablets, all right? So as you have the powder with water, it fills up in your stomach and it actually expands a little bit. Now, it's actually a plant, so don't be scared. But what this does is it kind of disengages or doesn't let the hormone ghrelin release as much. Uh, so that hormone is your hunger hormone. When your stomach starts to shrink, that hormone signals to the brain, yep, we're getting hungry, and that's when your cravings come along and you want to dig for something. And another quick two I wanna mention of the supplements is you can actually get any craving or appetite suppressant pill. Now, I've used these in the past and I don't actually think they work too well for me. Maybe my hunger is a bit too strong, but not too sure. I've used a Swiss one before. Um, 
yeah, not too bad. I was using it alongside glucocaminin, so I don't know if it was really that or uh, that. And the other one is simply magnesium. Every now and again, it can pretty much take that edge off craving, especially for females, uh, as chocolate contains magnesium, and apparently females are deficient somehow, and that's why they crave chocolate, apparently. And so there's your four. Chromium, glucocaminin, appetite suppressor pills, and magnesium. On to step number three. Quite a simple one, and I pretty much mentioned it in the first step. Prep your food. All right, the last thing you wanna do is not have your food for the day, because that's already measured out, and it's, it's what you need. It's what you're planned to have to get the body that you deserve. All right, it's your dream body criteria in that food. Okay, so by not having it and not having the measured out macros or whatever it is, you're not going to get what you need and you're going to go dig for something else unless you get exactly what you need. The last thing you want to do is not have what you were supposed to have to then trade in for something that you weren't supposed to have. So by having what you're supposed to have all prepped, all ready, all done, that's the whole day thinking out. Uh, so this way you're not actually thinking about what am I going to eat next uh, because then your mind's just going to stray off into a range of possibilities and that's where it gets dangerous. You don't want that. You want to have your plan strict. This is sometimes why it's also good to have a diet plan. A lot of people really dislike diet plans because it's so tedious and following the same thing every time. But if you have a diet plan to follow, your brain already knows that's what's going on. That's what's going on. As soon as you give it a chance to stray, that's when you're gonna create other things that you may be able to have, or you may be able to sneak in. Don't let it do that. I'd really, really advise to try stick to a diet plan for as long as you can uh, because of just that mechanism in the brain. And last but not least, step number four. Cheat meal. All right, I'm gonna include a link in the description or below about how to actually fit your refeed in. All right, so that's the proper term for a refeed. Uh, but a lot of people like to call it a cheat meal because it feels like you're cheating. Uh, I think a lot of people really blow it out of the water and cheat, but a refeed is essentially giving your body the nutrients and calories that it needs at least at a maintenance. All right, so your calorie expenditure is what your body burns in the day. That's your maintenance. Above is a surplus, below is a deficit. Now to lose weight, you're always in a deficit. All right, so your body's always craving and it's pretty much lowering your leptin levels, all right, which is a hormone that's going to disable fat burning. All right, so we need to crank those leptin levels back up by offering in a refeed. All right, so it's gonna crank those calories right up, leptin levels go up, fat burning goes up at the same time, but you always need to come back. Uh, but the good thing about these, let's say, cheap meals, is it keeps your sanity. Depending on how low your carbs is, I definitely recommend having at least one a week. Now, by doing this, you get to look forward to something. You get to look forward to just splurging a little bit and to keeping your sanity. Otherwise, you will go insane if you don't go off track just a little bit. Now, this is controlled, okay? So you're not completely just letting loose, all right? So imagine if you try to stick to a diet for eight weeks and you weren't allowed to do absolutely anything except for that diet. I'd go insane. Every start of my diet, I don't have a cheat meal until three weeks in, all right? So leptin levels are probably low enough uh, just to get that cheat meal in. So after that, every week I have a cheat meal, whether it be on the weekend, um, but whatever it is, if you pick your refeed, let's say on a Saturday, try and make it every Saturday, all right? So it's a full week at a time that you're cutting or, or you're in a deficit of calories. So by doing this, not only are you looking forward to something, you're gonna keep your sanity, plus it's a controlled, pretty much advantage, all right? So look at this refeed as a must. You have to do it, otherwise you will not continue to get results. And that is it, guys. So, like I've mentioned in the previous videos as well, pick your time frame and use those simple yet crucial four steps to not stray off track. Just think, it's only, let's say, eight weeks. All right, just think of it as eight weeks. One week down, seven to go. Two weeks down, six to go. All right? 
It's really useful if you give yourself a time frame for that reason. Stick to it, stay true, don't stray, only use the tips I've given you and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you can use it in your next weight loss journey if you're not on it already. All right, enjoy, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you liked the video guys, jump across to our YouTube channel and give that a subscribe to keep up to date on our weekly motivation and tips to help you on your weight loss journey. Also take a look at the videos down below for some humor, some laughs and some free workouts and more motivation. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.